Well, hello there. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment, and I'd like to welcome you here today. Um, I'm not where I was yesterday. Uh, since that time, my husband and I uh, drove to Green Cove Springs, Florida, uh, where our daughter lives. And let me let me take care of the computer so I can see all of your comments. And so I'm kind of like using um, different camera setups. So I hope that every, I hope you can see me and the gnomes okay. Um, but first of all, I'd like to welcome you to the show and I'm glad that you're here. And we're gonna probably finish up the, we're probably gonna finish up the gnome Christmas bags today that we've been painting since Monday. Um, if you come in, PJ, I'm so glad you're here. Or is it snowing in Franklin? Um, I'm so glad you're here. Um, so when you come into the the in into Artitude Adjustment today, please say who you are, and I'd love to know where you're from. Um, the other day I forgot to tell you we had someone from Hawaii. So if she's in here again, I hope that she'll say hello again. Uh, howdy, gal, yourself. Um, so anyway, this is what we're painting uh, are these, uh, let, me, let me fix my camera. So this, like I have this, uh, this arrangement up here that you wouldn't believe, uh, but I'm gonna make a, myself in a little bitty circle and I will make y'all uh, so you can see the project better. Um, I just kind of, went into our activities this room uh, this morning and put a lot of different paints in a bag and the only one I forgot was white. Now, isn't that the one that you need the most? So anyway, this is the a picture of what we're painting this week. Uh, I did change it a little bit uh, as far as the detail. I changed it so that um, there wouldn't be any eyes on the gnomes. Uh, as fa in fact, you can see I painted over their hats because gnomes have little beady eyes and it looks just like that whenever you paint them. So I just took it off. So, <clears throat> hey Chloe, I'm so glad you're here, girl. And um, so we're gonna continue this. Um, uh, like I said, I'm going to add one more thing to this that isn't in uh, the uh, template that I that I made but if you would like to uh, have a copy of the template just DM me and I will send you um, a, a PDF or a uh, JPEG of the template so anyway let's get on with the show yesterday um, <clears throat> yesterday we started on the the gold uh, on the the gnome and you can see it's kind of you can still see some of the fabric um, you can still see some of the fabric I'm gonna take myself out of that no, no I, I think you'll be able to see it just fine but um, if you have any problems seeing that let me know and I will get out of the picture and ju just show you uh, a zoom uh, you know why I don't like the zoom? It just shows every imperfection that you've screwed up, made you know, made a mistake on. So let's let me fix this so you can see where I am right now. Uh, like I said, my camera setup is a little, bit, a lot different than I have in um, our activities room, but we got it to work. So. I'm just glad that you're here. Hey, Tammy. Uh, hey, sweet lady yourself. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, we're painting uh, gnomes on a Christmas bag. Now, this is going to be a gift for someone, and with it, they get a Christmas bag. Uh, and so if you find something, um, I found mine in Walmart for, uh, it was after the season, of course. And I found mine, and I'm using a detail brush. Um, 
and you don't have to be extra careful. But um, it was on sale after season, of course, and uh, I thought, what could I do with this? Uh, it's gonna end up being painted, but I stuck it away and just brought it out the other day because I thought it would be a cute project for one of our lives. Um, the next project after this one will be um, some painted Christmas napkins. And I've got them all laid out, ready to go. And I just haven't decided what design or whether I'll paint one design um, for different. I'm gonna take this picture out um, of me. There, it might be helpful for you to see this a little better. Oh, while well, I was saying though, I've, my most important, my most important um, color didn't end up in my paint bag that I brought. Wah, wah. So, I'll just get along without it. Uh, this is his walking stick. Okay, so I think we've pretty well, um, let me see if I'm, I might do a little more touch up after he dries, and then I'm going to take this Krylon and spray a matte finish on top of it to protect it. Uh, maybe two, I'm just gonna see how the, uh, this uh, vinyl holds on to the matte finish Krylon. Now, big surprise, I decided in the last couple of days that these two gnomes may not be enough. What do y'all think about me painting a real tall, like a fir tree in back? What do you think about that idea? Chloe, what do you think? That's my granddaughter over there. Okay. And we're gonna spend a couple of nights here with our grandchildren. And our, grand, our, our daughter is, and son-in-law are gonna go see our grandson uh, who attends Covenant College in Chattanooga, right? Lookout Mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so let's just see. You know what? It, it isn't going to hurt anything if I do it. I want it to be one of those real tall trees. You know, the tall, skinny ones. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And where did I... I love the tall skinny trees and then they have like a, a wooden um, just a, I think I'm gonna like it it's a lot of different colors It just didn't seem like enough, you know. I, you know, whenever I'm painting, you should say, "Enough's enough." Um, but I think this will be okay. And let me smooth this thing out. My family's being very patient with me because I am right out in the middle of the kitchen at a table. I did have this set up um, outside. Um, I thought, oh, this will be nice. It'll be so pretty out here and I can set up my paints and my camera and everything. Uh, it was so hot, just hot. Let me see. Um, I need a smaller brush. Uh, where is it? Uh-oh. Boy, I almost did it then. Like I said, I'm not used to this camera being in this direction. We're just gonna. And you know what, 
I'm going to do in the end, I'm going to put a little red cardinal on one of the branches before I stop. I don't have any red with me today, but that's how we'll just put an end to this. Okay, so, oh, you can't see it. Okay, can you see it now? Can you see it now? Can you see it now? Okay, you can see it? Okay. Now, if you have never heard of Artitude Adjustment and you're just here for the first time, I teach painting to all ages of people. Now, um, I've taught children's lessons, all ages of adults, men are in my class. Uh, I enjoy uh, a variety of people in the class usually. Uh, when we are traveling, um, right now we're at our winter base, which is in Central Florida. Well, we're not there today, but um, when we get back uh, to Webster, Florida, that's where we stay during the winter and I teach uh, at Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort as well as some of the resorts throughout Florida uh, where RVers go and to private um, areas and uh, private uh, resorts, not necessarily RV. Um, but I also will um, teach at uh, international and national uh, RV rallies uh, when we're traveling. And they've usually been set up by me. So that's, um, that's the story. See, that's a little, now. And I'm gonna wait and do the um, cardinal when I get my red paint. So uh, I might try to pick up some at Michael's. There's a Michael's real close to um, this area of Green Cove. So we're gonna, I'll probably do that. Uh, I'd just like to thank everyone for being here and um, looking at the show. Um, we'll, I'll be back tomorrow at three uh, Eastern Standard Time and uh, I'm glad you're here. If, like I said in the beginning, if any of you are interested in a gnome um, um, template, I'll be happy to send it to you. Just DM me and I'll um, send you a picture, uh, JPEG probably. So thanks for being here. Y'all have a good, it, actually it's a great day to have a great day. So thanks for being here and I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.